Right, so in this session we're looking at bearings and I've had to copy out, but not accurately, the question that you will have in front of you. So my answers are going to be different to yours, but I'm just going to show you how one works this all out. Okay, now with bearings, there are three things you need to remember. It's kind of, I call it the three to one of bearings. And the three stands for, you've always got to go from the from. That's always important. You've got to go from the from. So if it says go from, that's where you start at. Second one is once you've done that, you look north. So you've got to start looking at the north. And they give you a north scale like that. And then finally, uh, the one is clockwise. Because when you do it, you measure clockwise. That is as the clock turns around that way. And if you remember those three things, then that will really help you. So for this, I need ruler and I need a protractor. Okay, it's really important that you get these. These are really, really important. I've also got a scale that says one centimetre is five metres. Now, it might not be the same answer as what you've got, but I'm going to show you how to do it here. So the question says, a helicopter flies in a straight line from Leek to Donning Donhampton. So from here to here. How far does it fly? Right. So what I'm going to do is measure, and in mine, it's 10.2 centimeters so for my one it's 10.2 centimeters and i know for every one centimeter it's five meters so i times that by five again if you don't feel comfortable use your calculator and it says 51 so i know that it is 51 meters okay so that's my answer for the first part, 51 meters. That doesn't look very good, does it? No, I can write it out here. There you go, 51 meters. Um, then it says, write down the bearing of Donington from Leek. Oh, okay. So what I need to do is I need to draw that line from Donington to Leek. And as it says, it says you're going from Donington. Oh no, from Leek. There you go. See how I can get it wrong? It says. What is the bearing of Donhampton from Leek? So from the from. So I now here look, I, I go from the from, look north. So I'm going to point it up north. And then I'm going to go clockwise. Now the other thing is you need to remember is if it's the angle is less than 100, you put a zero in front of the number. It's always three figure. So here you can see it's 150 degrees. So it's a bearing of 150. And don't forget, if the bearing was over here, and it's say 80, you'd have to say 080. So just be aware of that. And that's how you do bearing questions. Um, they, they will come up. It's quite useful. It's quite handy to know how to do. Um, so then we get to the next part of it. It says here, now let me see if I can read this out correctly, because it's pretty, pretty ticky. Um, I've got two points, A and B. Hello, pal. Let's just do that again. So I've got A and B, there's my A and my B is there and they've got the north points pointing up like that, like that and then the question says, the diagram shows the positions of two people A and B who are on their Duke of Edinburgh expedition, good on them. And it says the bearing of C from A is zero. Six two. Now it's hard to actually read that, so I think it's zero six two. So I'm going to draw a line between the two. Obviously, this is not drawn to scale. Never trust them. They'll always say things like not drawn to scale as well. So just be aware of that. So it says the bearing of C from A. So the bearing of C from A somewhere around here is sixty two degrees. So get my. That's my north line. So it's zero six zero. So zero, six, two, boom, there. So it's off at that point. So it's going off there. Oh, there's my ruler. And so they are somewhere along this line, somewhere along that line. And then it says, gosh, the sun's shining. 
It then says that the bearing of C from B is 275. So 275 from B. Now obviously my count, my protractor only goes to 180. So I've got to think about this. If it's 275, okay, how do I do that? Well, I, I know that 275 is going to be, if that's 180 degrees, that's 275, uh, 270. So it's going to be somewhere off here. Okay, somewhere off here. If I could work out that angle there, I literally go back from zero. If I could work that angle there, and I wonder if you can work it out, because we do know what all the angles around the point equals, and we also know what that equals there. So yeah, if I do 360, take away that, I should be able to tell me the remaining point. Okay, and it tells me it's 85 degrees. So I'm gonna do now a bear, um, an angle or a bearing of 085 from this point here. Make sure my zero line is along the north and it's 085. So I'm going on the inside 085 there. And then I do a mark and you can see where they cross. That must be where C is. So C must be there. And that's how you answer that one, okay? And then it says the last one, work out the bearing of B from C. So let's write the question out. Um, there's my north line, should really use a ruler. That's pointing towards B. There's my A. And it says that dot, 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 dot. And this is 50 degrees. And they want the bearing of B from A. So go from the from, look north, clockwise. All of that. Well, we know that's 180 degrees. Add another 50. That's my bearing, 2, 3, 0. So hopefully that has been helpful. Do we have time to squeeze in that one? Yeah, we do. Let's just do that as well. So it's using scale. So let's just try this question. It says here, a map is a scale of one centimeter representing 50 meters. So I can write it in a ratio form like that. And then it says, put a circle around the ratio which is equivalent to, ah, so it is ratio. Now obviously, this is centimeters, this is meters. So actually I can go all the way back to that stuff I did earlier on here. See how powerful this is. And I'm going from, because I'm going to change one or the other, it doesn't matter which one. Let's just change the meters to centimeters because the question is one to something. So I want to go from meters to centimeters. I need to times by a hundred. So times that by a hundred to convert it to centimeters. So that means chuck two noughts, boom. And now because they're all in both centimeters, same units, I can say it's one to 5,000. And that one is on there. And then it says, question says, the distance between two shops is 4.5 centimeters on the map. What is the actual distance? Well, if I look, okay, you can see I'm gonna go from one to 4.5. How do I do that? Well, I times by 4.5, 4.5. So I can times 50 meters by 4.5. And that would do it in meters term, which is pretty, pretty handy. Because um, you'll probably want it in meters, the distance, not centimeters. Silly. So times it by 4.5, and I get 225 meters. So that's how far the shop is. Great. Hopefully this has helped.